What's up, Starcraft fans? It is Monday, 5 a.m. in Manila. That means it's time for the week invitation. This week we have Breath Distraction, Alms Opportunities with Speed Freaks, Aggressive Deployment, and Avenger. I am playing this time as Stat Boy, Best Buddy. This will make Super Duper Gary Super Duper strong, but he's Super Duper slow outside the stat zone. So, go on the solo queue. Thank you to Mattis Diaz, who is supporting with the mobilization wave tier, and Darth Lucinus Pyrrhus Shadow Archon, who are supporting the post cannon tier. And thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. Brian, please tell me about the invitation. Missed Opportunities is the map where we have to clear out Terezine geysers for Stetman's bots to harvest. Then we have to protect said bots from enemies. If we lose more than one bot on brutal difficulty, we lose the game. Extra enemy waves drop every few minutes. They move very fast and get stronger when their friends die. Okay, so I got an Abathur ally. So, it's very good if this guy would actually <laughs> start farming biomass for, your for a brutalisk born, really fast and, uh, we'll here, see what kind of guy this the, what kind of player this guy low, is why don't okay I see dots on the minimap good sign yeah he's putting toxic nests along the path of the enemy and some near the first bot area or the first geyser area that's good We're gonna block this area with a spawning pool. Okay. Roach Warren done. Yeah, I think this guy is doing the right thing. Okay, he's starting the lure already. Gateway Protoss is good for this is good for him. It's actually very good for Abathur. This is good. For Abathur. We're gonna start the Oh my goodness. The late gas. One. Oh, Zerglings. Actually, I'm gonna get another one here. Alright. Against Protoss, not quite optimal pathing for the the biomass luring. But he is gonna block this first wave, which is the most important thing. It's gonna be Zelos in the first wave. Because if this particular enemy composition sends... Uh-oh. My, uh... Keyboard thinger isn't on. Start the... Infestation pit. So that we can take up to Hive. So my main goal in the first few minutes of the, the game is to take up to Hive. And get enough money to buy Super Gary Research. That is the one thing for me. Let me see if my shift queuing works already. Okay, it's work it works already. That's good. It wasn't working earlier. Uh oh. Some guy managed to get through. Good news is this guy's just harassing my hatchery. It's fine. I'll have Gary send one of the Been through worse. Shortly. Probably should repair it. Do I even need to repair it? No, no, no. I'm not going to let my ally have that by- Oh my goodness, ally. <laughs> you, you had to toss them. <laughs> there you go. Okay, there you go. Better. Okay. Let's fight over here. Let's send a drone over here. Alright. So, I don't want to have my Zerglings in the base when the av av aggressive deployment spawns, so... I like, before t with 10 seconds remaining, I'll send all my guys to the middle of the map. Let's make sure it comes back in one piece. There we go. We'll send the, we'll send them back later. It's just very important that... Okay, first Brulisk is on the way, or it has spawned. Okay, so I didn't steal Biomass, y you gotta note. I, I let the Zelots hit the Toxicness before I used the Gorb, so I wasn't stealing Biomass from Ally. I'm letting, I'm actually letting him get that Biomass, very important. Look, there. I let, I let them hit the. I let them hit the toss nest, which means they did get extra biomass. Okay, I'm gonna set my zerglings here. I think it's time to start working toward the extra. Okay, let's get the zerg upgrades first. Toward the extra bases or the next bases. Okay, allies on the way. 
Okay. Is he gonna lure? No, he's just fighting straight up. Okay. If he's gonna do that, then there's no reason for me to hold back either. The only reason I've been holding back is... If my ally wants to get these enemies to the toxic nests, I have to help them. Because that's what allies do. Okay. Let's, uh... Get over here. It's the terrazine moving beneath the surface. Oh, more geysers are on the okay. way. Next wave should be here soon. Yes, there it is. Let's lure these to the. Oh, that's not a video. Okay, they actually they actually just went to the biomass or the the what do you call them? The toxic nests for no reason. I apologize. It is 5 a.m. I just woke up. On, on another, I've been trying to do this this method for a while now. This uh, go to sleep early and then waking up at 5 a.m. instead of doing the usual 2 a.m. run. This is better for my health. This is the first time I've actually managed to wake up early. Or this is actually the first time I managed to go to sleep early, which is an improvement over what what normally happens. I also need to get my zerglings out here. I, do, I need to get my Zergings out here, like out here in the middle of the map, so that the aggressive diplomacy don't go, don't go to my base. Okay. Alright, there we go. Alright, get some more choice upgrades. This will be very helpful. Alright. Alright, come over here, enemies. There we go. Hallucinating this time. All right. Let's get some. Yeah, look, look, they're spawning over there. It is good. It is good. And that's gonna give my allies some biomass. Very nice. So, if you still haven't noticed, you probably should have by now. You're a smart person. You watch my videos. If you haven't noticed, the Enemies, the, the, the uh, Avenger, pieces. the aggressive deployment enemies only spawn near my army. If I don't have anything nearby, they will spawn in my base. Or they have, if, if I don't have anything on the map, they will spawn in my base. That's why it's very important to me to send my guys. Yeah, let's see. It's very important to send my guys out on the map and not in my base. Let's get some of our upgrades. Let's get plus two, plus two. By the way, some of you guys were telling me, or were asking me, why I don't get, why I don't get, why I don't get a lot of, a lot of armor, attack and armor upgrades. It's not because I don't like them in general. It's because I, I make a choice based on whether the upgrades themselves are impactful for the map or not. It's not I forget them. I don't. The thing is, oh, <laughs> More the thing is, oh wow, that, that, that's a very angry hybrid. The thing is, uh, uh, for some commanders and in some situations, the, 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 are, the attack and armor grids are very impactful. On other times, not so much. For example, when I'm playing Artanis and using psionic storms, I don't find attack and armor upgrades to be that impactful because my primary damage dealer is Storm and the shield upgrades which do help my high templar survive are very expensive like it's better it's more caught. Oh, I'm ally just walking in front of his own hotness. <laughs> Thanks for supporting our choice to save that thing, Gary. I was getting a little worried you might okay. be a cold, merciless psychopath. <laughs> okay, pull back. We all run back to the safety of our. Back to the safety of our satellites. Okay. 
Got some enemies trickling in. That's the danger of playing this. I'm gonna start making en my, my, my enemies, my guys from these hatcheries nearby. In fact, I'll make another two. Just so all that production will be out of the map instead of in the base. That's kind of bad for me. Storm d does deal damage, tremendous damage to my guys. Oh my goodness. He got it. My goodness. Alright. You won't get all of them. Oh my goodness. Alright, there we go. Alright. Delete these things. Okay. It is time to deploy more satellites. He is right on that. Let's do that. Just run past. Put these down. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. 3 3. Alright. Get some healing. So yeah, it, 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 it's it's a conscious decision every time for me. I have to decide whether or not to get attack and armor upgrades because I do like upgrades, but sometimes it's more bang for my buck to just get more units or to get other upgrades. Let's overcharge this so we can fight more effectively. There we go. Overcharge two of these actually. Yeah, just oh, I have to manually use the charge for the ultralisks. It's kind of weird, but. Fine. Okay. They're still rallying from a base. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Use the Igor. There we go. Smash through their front line. I'll exclude these two from my. Oh my goodness, I made the lair here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm an idiot, that's why. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, let's fly out here. Near the center of the action. And just provide the satellites where my guys need them. Yeah, just put these satellites. All right. Doubling down on this there we go. Terrazine extraction plan. Oh my goodness. Think we should put a stop to it. Our base is under attack. Oh my goodness, immortals are not something that my guys want to fight. Not enough death. Need more minerals for that. Okay. Okay, that is done. That is dealt with. I don't want some of you guys over here. Like six of you guys over here. TG taught me a little trick where I can actually prevent some enemies from spawning in specific locations. Oh my goodness, what are these guys doing? Look, just because these other bots aren't as perfect as Gary doesn't mean I don't know. here to tank so that Gary can delete the rest of the guys. I'm glad you're happy that we saved that thing, Gary. Now I don't have to restrain you when I sleep at night. There we go. Enemies are headed for my bots. What a bunch of jerks. All right, fully upgraded, guys. Very nice. Now I just wait. We're the we're the waiting part of the game. Okay. There we go. Extra waves spawn right where I want him. And where I want him is just right next to Super Gary. And of course, now you see that. Uh, oh, it's not quite visible, but. Now that all. That Gary has absorbed all the best oil. Oh my goodness. Not afraid. I have Super Gary with, you know, uh, two satellite overcharges. So he's not gonna go bye bye. All I gotta do is wait for these zerglings to get over here. Oh wow. 
Yeah, or treat that guy. <laughs> I am listing some more satellites out there. It's the only way we can win this. All right, all right. I'm getting more satellites here. Tank is full. Here. My bots are making the return trip now. Satellites, calm down, Stay that close, boy. so we can keep them safe. I'm making more satellites. That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh. There we go. I think it's time to head over here. Converge our forces over here and intercept the next attack wave. Because that's what we do. Okay. Alright. They use a ram thing. Beautiful. Alright. So, once again, we're in cruise control. We're just waiting for... Actually, let me just send this one zero to fight this. That extra wave? Silly Amon. Alright, now let's split up our forces. Have I have 16, <laughs> 19 like also risks in the center here. Again, here. Oh my goodness. And here. There we go. Zerglings will mostly stay with Super Gary over here. But we'll get some. Yeah, that's a pretty good number. There we go. Extend. Okay, there we go. The Zerg, <laughs> the Zerg just shoot through that gateway pretty fast. There used to be a gateway there. Not anymore. Ooh, my bots are back. That means it's tea time. The tea is for Terrazine. All right. Just a little now we wait. More Terrazine to go. Our victory is close at hand. Very smooth game. <laughs> super Gary is super strong. Of course, my Abathur ally played very well. Speaking of ally, let's uh, switch on the Maguro thing. Oh my goodness. That was a misclick. They barely did any damage. That's insane. Oh, I played with this guy before. That's interesting. And of course, a 100% win rate because I don't lose, ever. Imagine losing. Uh, super, uh, well, we played well. Uh, not perfect. Fund, stay tuned to fund my bank account. How many CTGs do you guys know? Like, is it, is it a common username? Do guys actually fake being me? Like, real question. I get faking being someone like, I don't know, Saral or Maru. Or even someone like Harston, but... Who would fake being me? Like, it's a cop game. What benefit do you get from faking being me? On those things. I don't get it. Our allies have encountered the enemy. Oh my goodness. Your brood has found something that allied forces are under attack. Okay. Yeah, shoot it down. Oh, we can get a... Oh. Very nice. I think I think the Tostas get most of the enemy. Very good. Yeah, my ally, look, look, my allies just can't be with this. this is very good. Alright. Oh my goodness. Uh, I go back to bed after this. Let me start preparing my commentary after... Oh, oh, that's not... The storms are actually doing damage. But! Allies toxic nests. That's absolutely fine. We're at maximum supply. Some more satellites to rub up my little body. Where did I put the more satellites? I guess I put them in the allies base. A lot of people Your complain. Or a lot of people still put satellites over their allies' main base. Uh the main the main base usually doesn't really benefit from the blue zone. Once it gets there, most of the time, because it gets there late enough 
that usually there's already more than two workers for patch saturation. Usually. Sometimes on very fast maps or on very... Or on maps where the expansions are close to each other. Or the bait, the babies are close to each other, they do benefit. Oh, that's that's a very good spell. I don't often see avatars who actually use the Sable and Cloud, outside of my pre-made teams with like two two and stuff. But like, very nice, very nice to see. But anyway, I think Mali got more kills actually. I think Mali outkilled me. Very nice work, of Mali. Hostages are very good at camping. But anyway, as I was saying, the stud lights, yes, if you can get the stud lights to your allies base in three stud lights or less, it is worth it. But on maps like lock and load, where the bases are very far from each other, you usually get to your allies main base in six stud lights. If it takes st six satellites to get there, of course. then more often than not, your ally will already have two or th even three workers per patch saturation master? by the time you get there. GG. Meaning, the stud light, the blue zone, doesn't make harvesting faster. It makes the workers move faster, but the bottleneck is not the workers. The bottleneck is the, the bottleneck are the patches themselves. The patches themselves are constantly getting mined at when you are three workers for patch saturation and the blue zone does not help any one bit because that's how that's how the that's how mining works. You have work actually you got more kills. Very nice. Uh, that's how mining works in this game. You have the worker speed which is visible and it does sometimes help with your mineral harvesting specifically if you have two workers per patch or fewer, the worker speed does matter. But if you are three workers per patch saturation, the workers, no matter how fast they move, will not improve mining because the patches themselves are already at 100% efficiency. So it really makes no difference if you get to your ally at three workers per patch saturation. I hope that made sense. Ah. Uh. Don't know. I'm pretty sure some people will still insist on doing it their way, but I just have to explain why the stud, the blue zone, and especially the the blimp, the Arcturus blimp, does not benefit at all if you're already at three workers for patch saturation. It just doesn't because again, the patch, the mineral patches themselves are already at full saturation or already at full efficiency. They don't get any faster. The ma the mineral the mineral patches don't get any faster. Anyway, you guessed a lot of comments and questions last week. At Werewolf6447 says that Stet the Boy is always a good and reliable pick. Yes. <laughs> he is such a good and reliable pick, isn't he? <laughs> Especially in his own map, Miss Opportunities. At Igor Reskovic4586 says that many things can slow, can slow down Abathur's quick clearing. But I, I, maybe this is my own fault. I probably should have mentioned that even though Abathur can clear quickly, he can also play very slowly because he is one of the commanders that does get stronger over time because of biomass. So in the late game, even if your ally refuses to capture the locks, you can just have vipers to stop any to stop enemy attacking, to stop poopigators. You can have swarm hosts that just generate free value over time because they keep spotting locusts that don't trade money, they just trade time. Your ultimate illusion is still strong and the rest of your units will get stronger because of biomass. So it doesn't really matter if Abathur finishes early or late. He does He does perform very well on this, uh, uh, on, well, in general. Abathur performs well in general. Finally, at Mastermind, Mr. Sixer says that Valerian Max is actually pretty bad. You know, I probably have not played enough games of Valerian Mansk to warrant myself giving him a grade because it was one bad experience for me. And there probably is a way to transport the 
the the Zeus without having the Akil available? I just don't know it yet. And it probably is my fault for not knowing the battle cruiser thing earlier on or having used it can teleport. I don't know. By the way, some guy mentioned that I should have used not the the siege tank looking thing. I don't know. I again I haven't played enough games of Valerian to figure out what works well. I'll I'll try the other thing, but I guess Avenger, I want units that don't trade themselves. I want units that just stay, that don't die. So if you know which unit that is for Valerian, do let me know because I don't like trading. Especially against Avenger. Anyway, Brian, please do the outro. Thank you all for your comments. I read them all each week, including the critical ones. Please join my Discord group if you want to chat more or appear on one of my videos. Please also vote on the weekly mutation poll in the comments. If you want to help support the channel, you can become a Patreon supporter by clicking the link on the top right of the screen. Any Patreon support will immediately grant you preferred status for content suggestions. And if you have any more questions, ideas, or feedback, please leave them as comments down below, and I will do my best to respond next week. I'll see you guys next time.